citing from the Breaking Defense website, a company executive said that Lockheed Martin is planning to complete the preliminary design review for the Canadian surface combatant by the end of this year, a significant milestone for a shipbuilding program responsible for recapitalizing a large portion of the Canadian surface fleet. Canada selected Lockheed's design in February 2019 and plans to purchase 15 ships for roughly $55 to $60 billion CAD, $40.10 to $43.8 billion USD, according to the government's website outlining the shipbuilding program. The vessel, which must be capable of a range of missions from anti-submarine warfare to humanitarian assistance, replaces the Iroquois-class destroyers and Halifax-class frigates. Glenn Copeland, general manager of Rotary and Mission Systems for Lockheed's Canada branch, said the delay between selection and the design review reflects the program's importance for the Royal Canadian Navy. The preliminary design review is significant because it begins to finalize the holistic structure of the ship, Copeland said. Lockheed's proposed ship design is based on BAE's Systems Type 26 Global Combat Ship, Canada's Irving Shipbuilding, the CSC's prime contractor, awarded Lockheed a design subcontract in February 2019, according to the Canadian government's website. Copeland said that while Canada had very specific requirements for its new ship, the focus on anti-submarine warfare guided the initial design choices. Based on the requirements from Canada, the company also included the Aegis weapons system, the Spy-7 radar and CMS-330, a derivative of the combat system used on Canada's Halifax class, as part of the offering. The first CSC is scheduled to be delivered, tested and ready for operations, in the early 2030s.